Okay, now I have all 11 tracks entered into this one single command. Now on the very last line, I put hyphen lowercase n space quote. Now everything that I that everything I include within this quote will be resolved to the name of the track that gets that gets encoded. So I use these variables. I use percent a space hyphen percent l space hyphen space percent lowercase n period space percent lowercase t dot o g g unquote. Now what that says to do is to go through each one of these tracks, track 0, 1, CDDA, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way down to 11, and then it's going to apply the the artist tag in the artist album to the percent %A and the percent %L variables accordingly. The percent %N will inherit the value that I specified on each of the 11 lines for dash capital N. So on the first track it's going to be resolved as 0, 1, on the second track it'll be 0, 2, and so forth and so on. The percent %T will be the name of the, the song title. So on the first line the name of the song title is Don't You, and on the second one it's Change, and on the third it's You, and all the way down the list. So when, when the uh, encoder runs, it will output to these variables based on all of the input that I have in the above 11 lines. Now, hopefully that's comprehensible. My explanation is lacking, but hopefully it's understood. Now all i got to do is hit enter. Notice I don't have a backslash on this final line. So all I do is hit enter, and the encoder starts to run. Let me zoom in here just a little bit. Okay, there I'm zoomed in on the line, and you can hopefully see what's going on here. Each time it completes a track, it automatically goes to the next one. It takes in the track number where you can see where it says encoding track 04.cdda.wav and then it says 2 and then the line below it candlebox space hyphen candlebox space hyphen 04.nosense.ogg. Now you can see that's almost done. It's 85%, 90%, 95, 100. Okay, now it's going on to the next song. Track 5 is going to be encoded out to Candlebox, Candlebox, 05, dot far behind. And it just, it'll loop through all 11 tracks until it's done. And I'll have, when I'm done, I'll have all the songs will be tagged properly. And all of the songs will be sitting on the file system in a, in a common naming scheme that makes sense on the file system hierarchy. So this is a very elegant way at a very efficient way to encode all these tracks at one time without repeating a lot of date, without repeating a lot of typing. Okay, and now it's on to track 11, the final track of the album. And as you can see, you know, it's gone through each one and properly named the song, properly, properly tagged the song, and it's just about finished here. And I'll just show the uh, what the out what the files look like on the hard drive. Okay, it's all done. And there you have it. All eleven tracks ripped down to the hard drive and encoded with one single command. Pretty cool. Who needs the graphical environment? Not I. And that will wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope you found it informative, and I'll see you next time.